So today we're going to read on three and things that I saw on a long street from Seuss and this is made by Dr. Seuss, one of my favorite childhood authors. So let's get started. I think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. This will become a series. When I leave home to walk to school, Dad always says to me, Marco, keep your eyelids up and see what you can see. Now when I tell him where I've been and what I think I've seen, he looks at me and suddenly says, Your eyesight's much too keen. Stop telling such outlandish tales. Stop turning minnows into whales. Now what can I say when I get home today? All the long way to school and all the way back. And I looked and I looked and I took a careful track, but all that I noticed except my own feet was a horse and a wagon on Mulberry Street. That's nothing to tell of. That went through a horse. There's a broken down wagon that's drawn by a horse? That can't be my story. That's only a start. I'll say that a zebra was, zebra was pulling that cart, and and that is a story that no one can beat when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. If you hear any background noises in the back, here's my parents. It's getting crazier. Yes, the zebra is fine, but I think it's a shame. Such a marvelous piece of a cart that's so tame. The story would really be better to hear. The driver I saw where it shared your tear. A golden blue chair is something to me. Remember you like dinner down Mulberry Street? No, I won't do it at all. A zebra's too small. A reindeer is better. It's, he's fast and he's fleet. You need to look mighty smart on old Mulberry Street. Hold on a minute. There's something wrong. A reindeer hates the way it feels to pull a thing that runs on wheels. He'd, he'd be much happier instead if he could pull a fancy sled. Focus, camera, focus. Hmm, a reindeer and sleigh. Say, anybody could think of that. Jack or Fred or Joe or Nat. Say, even Jane could think of that. But it isn't too late to make one little change. A sleigh and an elephant. There's something strange. I'll pick one with plenty of... Pick one with plenty, pick one with plenty of power and size. A balloon with plenty of fun in his eyes, and then just to give him a little more time, have a Ray J with rubies perched high on his throne, on a throne. I don't know if I'm saying R A J eight. Say that makes a story that no one can beat. When I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street, but now I don't know. It still doesn't seem right. An elephant pulling a thing that's so light would rip it around in the air like a kite. He looks simply grand of a great big brass band. A band that's so good should have someone to hear it. But it's going so fast that it's hard to keep near it. I'll put on a trailer. I know they won't mind. If a man sits and listens well, hitched on behind. But now is it fair? Is it fair what I've done? I, I'll bet those wagons weigh more than a ton. That's... That's really too heavy. A load for one beast? I'll give him some helpers. He needs two at least. But then what worries me is this. Mulberry Street runs into bliss. Unless there's something I can fix that there'll be an awful traffic mix-up. It takes police to do the trick. The guy can do the word traffic stick. It takes police to do the trick. They'll never crash now. They'll race at top speed with Sergeant Mulvaney and himself. The mayor is there and they, and they think it is Grant. And he raises his hat as they dash by the stand. The mayor is there and the alderman too, all waving big banners of red, white, and blue. That's a story that no one can beat when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. The roar of its mutter, an airplane appears and dumps out confetti while everyone cheers. And that makes a story that really is not, that's really not bad, but it could still be better. Suppose that I add... A Chinese man who eats with sticks. A big magician doing tricks. A ten foot beard who, a ten foot beard that needs a comb. The time for more. I'm almost home. I swung, I swung around the corner and dashed through the gate. I ran up the steps and I felt simply great. For I had a story that no one could beat. When I, and to think that I saw on Mulberry Street. That sounded like a movie intro. But Dad said quite calmly, just drill up your stool and tell me the sights on the way home from school. There was so much to tell, I just couldn't begin. He, Dad looked at me sharply and pulled out his chin. He frowned at me sternly down f from there in his seat. Was there nothing to look at, no people to greet? Did, and did nothing excite you or make your heart beat? Oh, if this was just like his imagination. Okay. Nothing. 
I said, cr- I said, growing red as a beet, but a plain horse and wagon on Mulberry Street. Okay, that was a good story. I read it a eight out of ten, but I just I didn't like the end, but I did like the whole yeah, like the other parts. But so next we're going to be reading the Five Hundred Hats of Bartholomew Covens. So, bye bye, sir squad. Yeah, bye bye, sir squad. Also, this is meant for my for the younger viewers. So, well, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Bye, sir squad.